Okay, here we go, World of Tanks, and as you can see, I am driving my T-29, that's the American Tier 7 Heavy, and this thing is a beast. It's probably my favorite tank in the game, um, <laughs> not just because it's probably, it, it's definitely, uh, you know, one of the best tanks in the game, but uh, just because it's all around, I think, I think it does a, with the exception of having a weak hull, um, it's a really, really good tank solid gun uh you know epic turret armor uh, you can even get some tier nines trouble uh uh pretty good mobility uh not i mean certainly not great um and uh, and again overall uh just a just a good very good tank and um uh with again the only real weakness being the hull so we're assaulting on corellia and uh xvm well, it looks like a pretty much of a, of a toss-up here. So uh, anyway, I'm uh, you know I'm moving up the west flank, which is where I started, which is you know not an unreasonable proposition. Uh, although the matchmaker is a little is favoring the defense a little bit. They've got an extra tier tier eight, and it's uh, it's an RHM. So anyway, the uh, 5916 shows up, and I stop to take a snapshot at him. Never know, might hit, but but. Instead of continuing to drive forward, I go ahead and pull back for a few seconds uh, just to give myself a chance to drop off the map, uh, drop off a of vision, so in case there is something else there that has uh, has the view range, don't want to give them a free side shot at me. So, just again, uh, XVM is saying 56% chance. That's just a hair over what I consider to be a toss-up, so... Uh, anyway, and, and like I was saying, uh, the enemy team has an extra RHM on their team, and uh, so overall, I think the matchmaking is okay. So anyway, uh, getting up here so I can actually put my gun depression and my turret armor to use, and a uh, wild Cromwell appears, and I uh, I knock him down pretty quick, and I'm looking for shots on pretty much anything I can get, but uh, I really want to work on the close stuff first because I mean it's a heavy tank gun; it's not super accurate. So I'm just going to sit back here uh, behind this little hump, uh, stay hull down, hope the artillery uh, decides not to shoot at me, and, uh, you know, just plank whatever I can plank. So uh, so anyway, I've got two kills. I've got the, uh, the Cromwell and the VK, and now I'm lining up a shot on the 20, uh, or sorry, on the Super Pershing. I'll be honest, I didn't expect, <laughs> did not expect that to go through, but uh, I'm not going to complain about it. So I'm easing up, and oh, 5916 sticking out, snapshot. <laughs> so uh, three kills over here so far. Bounce a shot, uh, or my tracks eat a shot from the RHM, which I will never, ever complain about bouncing a shot from the RHM. So now I'm lining up on this T-54 Mod 1, and I just have the worst luck with these things. Now, granted, again, I'm not well-aimed uh, from where I'm at, and he's not... Yeah, that one... Yeah, don't know where that one went. Um, I, I'm not aiming that well at him, and, um, you know, probably a bad angle to be shooting at him. Uh, so he's likely to bounce some shots. So uh, I switched my... I had a side shot on him, took it, then switched to the AT-15, and then slapped, slapped one into the moots. And uh, at this point, I'm pretty happy with the way things are going over here. But... <laughs> and overall pretty happy with the way things are going for our team. We are, uh, we're actually leading a couple of tanks, but uh, the gun decides to go back to doing its usual thing, and now the enemy team is bringing things back to even, so... And the 1815 pulls back. Oops, but he sticks out again, so let's see if I can just slide another shot in there. Right over, right over that weak spot there. So let's see. Oh, ooh, RHM. Uh, oh, oh, crap, he's looking this way. I pull back. And honestly, I pulled back a hair before I shot, and I thought I was just going to put it into the rock there, but um, finally take a damaging hit from somebody. Just couldn't tell you who it was. And now we're actually losing by one tank, and um, our... TVP is uh, excoriating some of the uh, some of our uh, less 
active players in chat and having taken a few seconds to actually look at what they were doing back there, I happen to agree with them. So try to line one up, put it through the tracks on the uh, on the Super Pershing, um, get a crit crit on him, but you know no damage crit, so uh, tracks ate it. And oh, there's that T54 mod one. Now, if there's any tank that really scares me at this point, it's that one. Uh, it's it's tough. Um, I have a hard time getting pin, pinning shots on it. Uh, you know, I uh, I remember one match I put three, four shots directly into the uh, what I thought were weak spots. I certainly had a green penetrator, and um, it just yeah, just like that. Um, although that one that one wasn't the best shot. I mean, I was at a lower lower I was below him, shooting up into his upper plate. Uh, should have been aiming at his lower plate. But anyway, like I said, I've got gold loaded. And um, now I'm sitting down below him. And frankly, I think the guy messed up. He should have, and he's looking for a shot on me, but doesn't have time to get it off. But he should have rushed me. Um, although he wouldn't have had much time to deal with me until that super pershing that you see down there to my right gets to me. And uh, the FB-304 um, takes my tracks. So looking back, we've uh, we've re-pulled the scores back in our favor, uh, but <laughs> uh, yeah, the the, uh, the bird's still shooting at me, and this uh, super pershing still poking out to shoot at me, and I'm just and again I've got gold ammo loaded. I'm just waiting for this guy to to poke out. Uh, but again, watching the minimap, and we have the T69 T28 prototype coming around from their east, and. I have the T26E4, well, the Super Pershing, and the SU-12244 popping up, and uh, that uh, Super Pershing, the enemy Super Pershing, is focused on me. So that's going to give these guys a chance to uh, push through the middle. So the RHM is up, and he had a couple of things in his face, and now the Super Pershing is lit along with the uh, Patton KR. So uh, at this point, yeah, we're just cleaning up. And um, so I've still got a still got a gold round loaded, and my thought was, uh, you know, let's let's just make sure I can get through this super Pershing uh, from what you know from whatever you know facing he presents to me. But as I come around the corner here, you're gonna see that uh, he is completely pointed the wrong way, and all I needed was a regular AP round. But I secure the kill. And, um, yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for the game. Oh, I'm sorry. Our uh, friendly T-69 goes ahead and uh, uh, throws a platoon request out to me. And, um, well, I'm going to get one extra medal out of that <laughs> because of that. And you can see him working over the KR, so... Oh, I gotta figure out why it does that. So anyway, uh, yeah, I did pick up an extra, uh, an extra medal. Actually, my only medal for that round, brothers in arms. And, and again, thanks to the uh, uh, T69 for that. But uh, also uh, picked up the Fire Four Effect, uh, the Fighter, and the Bruiser ribbons, and uh, and a first class, uh, first class mastery badge. But that really kind of wasn't what this one was about. I mean, again, I was in, uh, I was in a heavy tank. Uh, Solid, you know, solid armor and everything, and sometimes even even when you're not top tier, uh, you've got to get out there and you've got to be aggressive and you've got to push, and uh, and that's what I did on that side. Unfortunately, I had a few guys behind me who didn't come out and help as maybe as much as they should have. But then again, that SU-122-44, I saw that he had taken some uh, uh, quite a bit of damage. But then on the other hand, uh, we have the uh, we had the uh, super purging back there and well there he is <laughs> he uh he took a took a few hits but as you can see he only did 211 damage i mean that tells me he only put one shot on target uh the uh, 12244 at least uh he at least you know did a little bit more than that so but anyway uh overall you know no, again uh you know not not bad uh, 1222 base experience uh, almost 2700 damage uh, go to the detail report all, though and you can see where my gunnery was nowhere as good as it probably should have been uh, 21 shots fired 15 hits but then you know I, I fired a lot of them at the um, 
uh, I did fire a lot of them at those uh, that weak spot uh, on the uh, AT-15, and you know that's a tricky target to hit for a T-29. And, but um, you know, 11 hits, and uh, again, a few of those were aimed at the uh, T-54 Mod 1, and you know <laughs> that's why I end up taking a 16, 17,000 credit hit for that match because I fired all that uh, all that premium ammo. So, but anyway, uh, 14, about half my damage was uh, for more than 300 meters. I took nine hits, uh, bounced, bounced uh, five of those shots, and uh, took a little bit of splash damage from, from their artillery. But uh, overall, here's the here's the here's the good part of it. Uh, again, 1,200 base experience, uh, a personal pish, mission payout, and that was my time two for the day. So, so overall, 4,400 experience. So anyway. Um, <laughs> like I said, you know, somebody's got to get out there and maybe, you know, kind of inspire those lemmings to uh, to do their thing. And it doesn't necessarily always have to be the top tier tank. So, well, uh, with that, hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, again, let me know what you think. And I will talk to you later. Bye.